Hey, game makers. So today, uh, real quick, while I was in school and had access to uh, some of the stuff that I wanted to show you, I, I do want to show you how you can take uh, the scrolling shooter just a little bit further. As you can see here, I've, um, I'm in a different game engine, and uh, the game engine is Godot. Godot is free, uh, and it's capable of both two-dimensional and 3D uh, programming, which is kind of cool. Now, I tried to include when I was working on this, and I haven't worked on it in a while, uh, all of the stuff that I had in my two-dimensional game. Now, the one I built in, in class is brand new. I built it while I was working with you. And uh, so there's going to be some things in this game that, that didn't make it into my classroom version. Uh, but you'll see that the boss is there, uh, including a camouflage texture. There are some islands, although there's only one island. Uh, in the game. I did include the submarine and uh, that didn't make it into my 2D game. Uh, but let me just show you um, how this works. So very similar. Let me see if I can get this centered on my screen. Um, you can see that uh, you have some extra dimensions here. So my boss is about to come into the screen and I can't quite get him, but I can get the submarine. Uh, I did include some clouds that made it a little more difficult to see, but you can see I can move up and down and uh, all of the, so my basic enemy is kind of the same color. See if I can, oh, I got destroyed. Apparently I'm not very good. And I didn't go ahead and include extra lives or anything like that. But the uh, 3D gaming, very similar to 2D gaming. And uh, a lot of the concepts that you learned doing the 2D scrolling shooter can absolutely be transferred to 3D. Um, you can see my, my space just goes on forever. So just wanted to show you that, that, that the things that you learned can be applied. And, and there's, a, there's a lot of connections between what we learned in the 2D game and what it takes to make a 3D game. So just a little show and tell. Thanks for watching.